during and then after uh, Howard Terminal. I, I mean, they just said that these guys, they weren't, they were never ready. They were never ready. They were never ready to do the things that meant that they'd be ready. You know, it was the the public sort of facing thing was always like, well, Oakland's not ready to pay for the, the streets, but like, it, no one ever felt like that they were ready to pull the trigger and, and knew what they were doing. You know, I think I, I think my pessimism still lies in the fact that this really is the end of the road for John Fisher. Like I don't see any sort of other option for him. You know, there's no, no other place he can go. And, uh, and yeah, he's, he's struggling to get the prices that he wanted. He's struggling to get the, the loan terms that he wanted. He's struggling to be able to sell the equity at the level that he wanted. You know, I mean, the, the the Forbes uh, estimate of the of the A's value is the same as the amount of money he needs to pay, you know, for for the stadium, you know, and I'm sure that's killing him. You know, he thought, oh, I'll just be able to s sell 20 or 30 percent of the team and then use that to build the thing. And, but but at the end of the day, you know, he he and his family still, you know, have billions of dollars of other things. And I just can't imagine the the this should be the. The, the biggest embarrassment, the embarrassment of his life, you know, to not get this done. So I, I think I'm still pessimistic. That, I'm, I'm happy to know that he's going to have to pay a lot more than he wanted to. And, you know, he's very sad about that. But I think I'm still pessimistic just thinking like he'll he's 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 otherwise he's pretty much got to sell. And uh, I don't think he wants to do that. But we'll, I think we'll we're see. close to that point. I do. I really do think we're close to that point. It's 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 now or never for him. I mean, if if they demo the trop and the A's don't have serious plans, <laughs> and the trop is already demoed, like it's now yeah. or never, man. MGM's yeah. waiting on them. Bally's is going to be waiting on them. It's now or never. And the one thing that could bail him out is selling his half of the Coliseum property to AASEG. And that is the one thing that I fear the city will see as a reasonable concession that, OK, you know, this all sucks, but at least we get the Coliseum land back. I can tell you the mayor's office doesn't see it that way at all, but I feel like some other Oakland politicians might. That yeah. hurts me because then that will give him the influx of cash he needs possibly to finally get this thing over the finish line. Uh, it will give the city the opportunity to get that land back, but it's not a win-win. It means pro sports are dead in Oakland. And so I think that you have to keep that in mind the whole time you look at this. And, and that's the biggest concern for me is, is what, if anything, the concessions are for allowing them to play 25 through 28 at the Coliseum. Because if you don't let them play there, they lose their TV deal. They lose that hundred plus million dollars they could get off their half of the land. And I think at that point, he absolutely will have to sell. So it, it's, it's, ever. it's a huge, it's a huge amount of money. So it's, it's both, I mean, eventually he'll sell that land. I mean, somebody will eventually buy it from him. You know, I, we can't just steal the land back from him. Thank you, Nate Miley. But like, um, yeah. uh, you know, the county, if you're an Alameda, I'll just say this, if you're an Alameda County voter, just just take a look at, who, you know, there's an election coming up. Take a look at whatever statements have been made from your supervisor about this. Some of them, <clears throat> Nate Miley, uh, have really not been helpful. But um, uh, that that's that huge amount of money. But then, of course, if they stay in, in the Coliseum for 2025 to 2027, they're looking at like 70 million dollars a year or something so like almost 200 million dollars in basically free money that uh thanks to the largesse of the nbc uh sports comcast uh, corporation not a corporation known for their largesse by the way so this is yeah like for them. it's a very bad deal for them and they it's a terrible deal for them i think i did some math on twitter and it looked like I think last year, I think that per per household per game, uh, uh, NBC Sports was paying something like forty dollars <laughs> per household per game, <laughs> to, to uh, which is uh, not a winning formula for cable television. <laughs> well, I mean, um, people may or may not remember this, but I was one of five producers that launched that network. Okay, and yeah. I built all of the current A's pre and post game infrastructure from the ground up. And yeah. I did a million shows with Brody Brazil and um, we, we had some great years there, but you know, that, that team, even at its best 
the ratings paled in comparison to all the other teams, the, except for the Sharks. And so um, Poor Brody. The past, they're not having <laughs> numbers. So yes. At their worst right now, their numbers are abysmal. So $70 million a year for those ratings is a big time loss. Yeah. I, I'm so, going to ask you um, guys. I, I want to ask one thing about Shang Tao. So you guys were both talking with Shang Tao uh, at the Ace Fan Fest this weekend. And um, I know there's this idea that it's like some hopium that even if the A's leave, they could get an expansion team. Is, is that real or is that or is that just a, kind of a pipe dream? Because I, I personally feel like once they leave Oakland, I can't see them returning to the market. But I just want to gauge your guys' feelings on that and if that's a real possibility. And just her, I know she's keeping this optimism, but is it real? Or, I mean, obviously she has no other position to take, but like, you know, just like the, the city of Oakland and her, her thoughts and expansion and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think there's no chance for expansion unless the A's leave and like Joe Lacob puts this like superstar power group together for expansion. I just don't see it happening. I think you ask for it though right you ask for expansion you ask for the name and colors because you know while john fisher never really seemed to want to get to yes in oakland after the pandemic and after interest rates went up it almost seemed like they were clearing these hurdles despite themselves like they were waiting for that one thing to just shut it down so they could move on and they just kept getting past them uh <laughs> so i think that you ask for the impossible because you don't want to get to yes on extending that lease because if you extend yeah. it everything's done it's, it's over yeah. for everybody out here 